girl went to the pool the other day, got out, fro was on zero, curls were dry. So today I got some tips for you guys on how to preserve your curls while swimming. Before, after, and during. Should have said before, during, and after, but that's okay. I'm gonna give you guys all of the tips, okay? <laughs> Either way, you need to slop that thing up in there and make sure it is saturated. When I say saturated, saturate those curls. Of course, you're not gonna keep all your moisture while you're swimming because water does leak underneath your cap, but it's going to maintain most of that moisture. When you come out, you're still gonna have, so you go in 100% saturated, you're still gonna come out a good 90, 95%. That's better than coming out with a busted fro, you guys. So keep them curls saturated with leave-in conditioner. Okay, guys, tip number two. Wear a swimming cap. Wear that swimming cap, y'all. And the reason to wear that swimming cap is to make sure your curls aren't just free-flowing in the pool. You know, you get in the pool without a swimming cap, you're gonna be stroking, stroking, but your curls are gonna be flowing, flowing, tangling, tangling. We don't need that. So put on a swim cap, please use one. And it'll keep your curls from detangling and it'll make that process afterwards when you have to wash it, condition it, detangle it, do the whole process all over again. It'll make it so much easier. So tip number two, again, is to wear a swimming cap. Comment down below if you're the type of person that doesn't like to get your curls wet because these three tips are for you. <laughs> these three tips are for you. Let's get into this last tip that I have for you guys. Wash your hair thoroughly. That's the step, you guys. Just wash it. Wash your hair thoroughly because most of us are out here buying the $2 to $10 range swimming caps. We not out here throwing money on $30 caps and all that, you know, to secure the water. So the chlorine is still getting to your hair, it's drying out your hair. So you guys, we just need to wash hair thoroughly being the last step to bring back your nutrients and your moisture in your hair. And I get it. We have some, we have some days where we wanna go swimming almost every day, almost every other day, and we don't wanna wash our hair. But we can't just sit around smelling like chlorine either, so you gotta wash your hair thoroughly. You guys, I just had a thought. High porosity does not retain moisture. Chlorine dries out hair. What are we doing? What are you doing? When you guys get out the pool, you definitely need to be doing a full wash day routine. And that's why I go with Curl Mix. You know, they have the one, two, three, and four easy step wash and go routine. It's simple, it's fast, and you don't really have to think about it. So you guys, just make sure you are washing thoroughly after a swim day. If you guys go click subscribe, comment down below if you have any more tips for the curly hair community, the natural hair community, because you know what they say about us. They say some stuff about the girls going to the pool, going to the ocean, and how our curly girls just can't do it. But if we stick together, you guys, with those comments down below and some more tips, let us know. Comment, like, and subscribe. And share this video with a curl friend, because they need to get in the water too. We are in this water all summer. Let's get it.